What's up, guys? Hey, it's you guys with Illinois. And today I am going to be doing a review of the Bachman uh, SD40 2 and the Union Pacific Paint. As you can see, this is a decent model. I like it. Uh, up front, you got the Easy Make couplers from Bachman, followed by these plastic sturdy handrails. And this huge porch right here, or <coughs> running board in front of the nose, right? In fact, what makes these SD40 2s well known are these decks right here on, on the front and back. They're larger than a standard, say, a GP40 or an SD45. That's what, this right here is what makes these SD40-2s distinctive. Up front on the nose here it says Union Pacific and then UP3450. That's the road number. And on the, up top you got your number boards and your horn here. It's a three bell. I don't know, I think it's uh, Bachman's generic horn for their diesels. You got your illuminated headlights here. Uh, number boards are not illuminated. And on the side here, you got your Union Pacific Shield. And then the, under that, 3450. You got your trucks here. I think that's uh, molded in detailing here. Then on the other side, what it looks like is your builder's plate under the um, number and then you got some other placards behind that mm -hmm. you got your fuel tank and your air reservoir and then you got on the roof here you got this piece right here I don't know what that is uh, let me know it, I'll get an aerial view soon and then behind that you got your exhaust and your dynamic brake fans you got your dynamic brake grids. Also, here's your intake. And then there's this piece. No idea what that is. If someone knows, if someone knows, please inform me. And then behind that, you got your radiator. And then on top, you got your three radiator fans. And on the side of the um, hood, you got Union Pacific, and then 3450. I'll show you the other side here. So here's the underside of this SD40-2. You got your metal wheels. Then there's your speaker. It has DCC on board with sound. That's why there's a speaker here. And then here's Bachman's logo. And then there's the front end. There's the front end again. Here's the back end. And no, the marker lights do not illuminate. And then here's the other side. And then here's the roof. Get some light there for you guys. There's the roof. See, here's these two pieces I was referring to. I do not know what those are for. If someone does know, if you're like an expert on, say, these EMDs, please let me know. I am not an expert, but I do know what makes these famous. So now what I'm going to do is power up the track and show you the features. Let me bring it around over here. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to show you the sounds, the lights, and then after that I'll run it around the loop for a little bit. So the controller I'm going to be using is my Bachman Easy Command control. I have it already punched it and already programmed. So let's go and power it up. And as you can tell, it comes to life immediately. Uh, it's a 645 diesel at uh, 3,000 horsepower. That's where the real things are. So now what I'm going to do is turn on the lights on the Easy Command Control Center from Bachman, no, the number 10 that uh, controls the lights. 
So, what I'm going to do is go through the functions. Number one is your bell. Two is longhorn. And I'm in the function mode, by the way. Uh, three is shorthorn. Uh, four is a dynamic break. Uh, five doesn't do anything. Six doesn't do anything. Uh, seven dims it. So it imitates the Rule 17 lighting. So I'm going to keep it on that. And eight is mute. So now what I'm going to do is uh, reverse, couple up the train, and then run it around for a little bit. But before I do that, I'm going to bring it around here so then I can give you the full sequence. And it revs up. So that's pretty cool right there. There we go. Yeah, the cars are on the other side of this, uh, out of frame, out of shot, since I wanted to have more space for the review. Test. And now we're moving forward. See, so there's the locomotive with the freight train. Okay, so I got a freight train all hooked up. Uh, this was from the uh, from the boxcar back. Uh, it was from the Bachman Rail Chiefs uh, tr uh, starter set. Um, but this Union Pacific Gondola, which is behind the SC40-2, uh, that came separate. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the sequence for departure, running, say, an uphill scenario, and then after that I'll run a downhill scenario, and then after that I'll bring it in for a stop. Turn it nicely. Okay, let's just say we're in an uphill scenario. And now I will hit the dynamic brake. Yep. 
you probably won't be able to hear it since on this model it won't go down to idle. We'll go ahead and bring it in. No, it's actually got him bringing up. Alright, I can go and shut these lights off. Alright, that's going to be it for this review of the Bachman HS Scale SC40-2 and the Union Pacific paint scheme. Casey Caster, see you next time.